Hi, all structure engineer there. And today I'm pleased to demonstrate to you the uh, silver based steel connection design program to AISC code. So this program is just uh, a steel connection design program. Uh, it's an online program and user has to use it online. It's uh, something like a steel connection design in the cloud in the sky or whatever. It's, uh, the program is sitting on the server. So there's no need for you to install on the desktop and there's no such uh, standalone desktop version of that. So you have to use it online with the internet connection and web browser. So there are three web browsers works well with this program. The first one is uh, Google Chrome. The second one is Firefox, and the third one is Opera. I believe not many people have heard about Opera browser, so I basically I start a Chrome here. I will show you how to get it. All right, so start the Google and uh, key in Opera, all right? So it will show up the website. Okay. So, the website is opera.com, O-P-E-R-A.com. The name of the browser is Opera. And you can download Opera for Windows for free here through this website. So, all these three web browsers, Chrome, Firefox, and Opera, they are all free. In terms of user experience, uh, use these three browsers with my programs. Uh, based on my experience, Opera is the first choice. It has very good uh, response uh, time and response quick. The second, the first choice is Opera. The second choice choice is Chrome. The third choice is Firefox. So these three browsers only. All right, the other browsers like uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer, Microsoft uh, Edge or Apple Safari, uh, the other browser, I don't know how many else you use. They, they doesn't work with this program. So always use uh, Chrome, Firefox or Opera for this program. So now today for this, today's demo, demo I'm go, going to use Chrome. So I start with Chrome here. Okay, so in the address bar, I type in asp.silverbay.com connect. All right, so asp.silverbay.com connect. Hit enter, you will get the program show up. Okay, so I also leave this uh, program web address and tutorial web address and also online menu web address links below so if you you uh, you can go through these uh, uh, just go below and grab the links to get the quick access to these uh, programs uh, menus and the tutorial all right so it will start the interface like this okay I've just do a brief uh, introduction of this interface that's the first tutorial I, I, I give for this program. It will be just a brief introduction of tutorial and how to use it. There will be a series of others coming after. Uh, it will go through the detail uh, introduction on different connection type like moment connection, shear connection, brace connection. Uh, in brace connection, it will be vertical brace, horizontal brace, chevron brace, knee brace, uh, base brace, uh, vertical brace. And there will be also a uh, splice connection. So for this one, the first one, I just give a brief introduction. So in terms of the interface, the top part here, these are menu tabs, all right? That's for you to switch uh, between different uh, input interface below on the on the, on the bottom right here all right 
So the center part is the sketch area. It show you the sketch. The bottom part is the status area. It show you the license status and the calculation ratio result. Uh, on the right, the top part is the sketch view uh, switching tab. You can switch uh, between different view of the same sketch. Okay, so front view, side view. This one will show you the side view. So we sketch back to front view. Below that is the input fields. Okay, so those are the area user input their data and parameter. So these field, these uh, bottom part, will change when user click on different menu tab on the top. So it just switch back and forth between different ones for this part. Okay, and also the bottom part. There are two tip uh, radio button here. There are three uh, button here, and there's one button gray out. Okay, I will explain one by one. So two tip. Um, this programs for some many uh, input section like this. It comes with two tips. Uh, I just take example. I switch to right and plate. Okay. Currently, uh, the two tips off here. Okay, I turn it on by clicking on this button. Okay, I turn the two tip on. So for some input fields, there are two tip. They are put pull up two tip for user to get a better understanding what this input is for and how to get the right input. Um, I believe for most uh, first time user and early stage users, they need this uh, this two tip to to figure out. Uh, what the input should be, and uh, like this one, okay. We already turned the two tip on here, okay. We we move the mouse over, you get the pull up, okay. It just show you uh, because here is the MC bolt pattern, and with uh, bolt pattern uh, and naming here. <coughs> Excuse me. With the bolt pattern naming here. And we that the naming system taken from AISC design guide four and sixteen. Uh, different name uh, represent different bow pattern correspondingly. But uh, most of the time, without the AISC design guide uh, four and sixteen uh, on the on the on the desk, we probably have no clue what does this name refer to. So that's the pull up menu, uh, pull up dialog box for. So you can uh, browse through this name corresponds to their their bow pattern. You know what you want, right? So that's uh, just online the uh, menu something. It's just like we split the we split the whole menu to different. Uh, Different section and different uh, pieces. We distribute them to every uh, uh, input fields where the, the menu is uh, uh, targeting to, so uh, so that user can get this menu real time online. Uh, just uh, who who were the mouse with the mouse over the input field, they will get this uh, menu. In the real time, it's uh, it's very handy. So that's one of these uh, pop-up menu. Okay. There's another type of pop-up menu. Uh, uh, pop-up two tips. Sorry about that. Pop-up two tips. Okay. That's uh, one of the pop-up two tips. There's another one uh, which is uh, instead of this uh, heavy uh, 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 graphic and uh, uh, dialog box. We have a light, lightweight one uh, like this one. Go to setting, okay. Uh, so if you hover your mouse over some input field, you will get this uh, dialog box pop up. Okay, you will explain to you uh, uh, what this input uh, is for and uh, how to get your input right. This pop up uh, uh, two tips. Okay, hover mouse over, you get this one. Hover your mouse over this, you will go, uh, get the, this one, explanation, and hover your mouse over here, like this, okay? You just 
explain to you uh, what this uh, uh, setting is is for all right how you set it and which uh, area of the code you should refer to to get the right uh, input for this setting all right so that's the lightweight uh, two tips lightweight two tips okay lightweight one and we cancel it uh, that's uh, one type of two tips the other type of two tips like this is heavyweight and uh, also with graphic okay so these two type of two tips and there are many input field has these two tips so once you figure out once you get uh, familiar with this program you don't need those two tips anymore you know what's going on you can just simply turn it off by clicking on this button okay turn it off All right, so now you move uh, your mouse over, you won't get the pull up anymore, okay? You just can turn it on and off by, by clicking on this uh, radio button here. So two tips, that's first thing. The second thing I'd like to uh, introduce is the highlight feature. Like, uh, um, you see uh, this interface here. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, this input for both uh, gauge, both uh, both distance, edge distance, or whatever. So every time we move our mouse over uh, input field, on the left side, you see these uh, uh, a sketch area. The corresponding dimension get highlighted in yellow background and red color. All right. So check the this one, the left side sketch, this gauge. All right. So you move your mouse over. You see the left that get highlighted in uh, yellow background and the red color. You move down, these uh, both uh, distance get highlighted, all right? And this one will be highlighted if we move further down, all right? So edge distance, you see the edge distance? You, here you get highlighted, okay? And also plate width, okay? And plate thickness, all right? Like this so this is a highlight features okay so yeah with this feature user will, will, will uh, it will be easy for user to understand what this input is for uh, where this input will go to the in terms of the, the specific connection where to go okay they, they just uh, 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 link this input to the specific dimension on the sketch so that won't be wrong for that input, okay? It's more like um, two tips. So for some kind of two tips, uh, user have very uh, good understanding of the input and they won't make mistake with this highlight feature, okay? So that's everywhere. Uh, as long as, uh, as, long as uh, these uh, sketch, there's a dimension marking there, when you uh, go to this input view, like this one, the gauge, it didn't show up, uh, it doesn't show up on the side view, so there's no highlight, but when you go to this both spacing, okay, it get highlighted, okay? Edge distance, you get highlighted here, and uh, both uh, play width, you get highlighted, and play thickness, all right? So gauge is not, okay, gauge is not, okay. they. They switch you to the front view, okay, automatically to, to highlight the gauge, okay? That's smart. All right, so let's highlight feature. And there's one more feature. We call it suggest value. You see on the right, there, there are some brown uh, color value here. It's uh, sit beside the input field. So these are suggest value, okay? And... Uh, these are suggest for these input fields and user can choose to uh, use it or, or they have their own. So basically this value, we just uh, take it from some standardized drawing. Okay, there are, there are some uh, uh, normal value we use for our connections. Like uh, for one uh, three quarter bolt, we normally have uh, 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 three inch spacing. Um, the like uh, these edge distance to be one and three eight, and for one quarter bow we had to increase this value, and that's a company standard something like this. And we put this value beside the input field, and you just uh, use it. Uh, 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 I hoping uh, give users some um, some reference if they have no clue to what the reasonable value should be. Okay, so. Um, User can uh, 
get this value and typing on the input field one by one and pick the one they want to use uh, typing the in input field manually all right and there's also uh, one way they can copy all of land to the input field by cl clicking on this button so for example we uh, keep this unreasonable number here and two okay and go to front view I go to front view right front view here So the gauge changed to two, the uh, boat distance changed to three, which is quite large, All right? Three and uh, the edge distance is two, which is quite large, okay? So now you see the gauge is two and uh, boat distance uh, to the frame is three and the uh, boat edge distance two. Uh, these are all not not reasonable number. Okay, uh, user when they get this one, they see this uh, suggest value. They can if you want to uh, 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 copy one, they just uh, they think it's four here. Oh, it suggests to be four, so they type in four here manually. Okay, and you change. Okay, change to four. Uh, another way, if you want to copy all of them, like this uh, 1.625 to three, copy to change to this three to 1.65 and change these uh, two inch edge to 1 1.138, okay? So they can just copy. This copy also just value to input field, they copy it. You have just one click to uh, copy all the uh, suggest value to input field, okay? So input field is another feature. And uh, basically, uh, we, we want to give users an option uh, to uh, uh, to establish all the uh, input uh, on one click, okay? They might have no clue to what's a reasonable number to use. Uh, so that's an option for them. Uh, pretty much, uh, it's very ha uh, handy, okay? And uh, when I uh, uh, start a program, I, I don't need to think uh, what's the value. And should be, so I just copy it, okay? And you will just give me the, the setup right away. So we we have a brief introduction of this area, okay? This is for a location for user uh, to input the design parameter, both diameter, both spacing, member size, or whatever. This area of input will change uh, when user click on different menu tab here, okay? They will just, uh, uh, it's a tiny area to, to, to use for different uh, input interface, okay? When you change to weld, okay, weld, it will just show you the weld interface and define the weld size for these uh, French to M play and, uh, okay, like you, Put here, highlight the well here. Put here, highlight the well here, okay? When you go to a, a, a stiffener double plate, this one change again. And you can uh, provide a stiffener plate if you want, okay? So if you want stiffener plate, and you can only see this uh, through side view, all right? Side view, see here, now we have stiffener plate. So if you want to turn it off, okay, no. Okay, so there's no stiffener plate now. Okay, so this part of interface will change when you switch to different uh, 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 menu tab here. So we go to the end plate now and front view probably, okay. So now we finished uh, a briefing of this area. We already talked about two tips on and off uh, just now. And that uh, these are put uh, uh, just uh, turn your two tips on and off. There are three more buttons here. Okay, so it's a save button, load button, help button. And this lockout button uh, is only uh, uh, for register users. Uh, for now, this program is still under um, uh, try demo period so we gray out and uh, next time if we attend this program to to be a 
commercial versions, they will, this this button load up button is for user to log into the account and then log it out after finish using it. So uh, I will talk about this uh, licensing and uh, uh, logging and log out later. On. So we already talked about two tips. Okay, uh, we are we we're going to talk about save, low, and help. These three buttons. So uh, this uh, although this program is online, but it allow user to uh, save the input file and load it back later on. So basically, just uh, click on your save button. Okay, here you get the uh, uh, interface. Let me see my download folder. Okay, let me see my download folder. Okay, I delete the previous save one. Okay, so that's my download folder. Okay, here you get the interface. Uh, you key in the uh, connection ID, and uh, you will, it will be used as a file name to save these uh, input. You click on save. Okay, see here. They, they, they pull out mc-1.txt uh, it's a Google Chrome it's a web browser it's, uh, when you save a file it's just like you download a file in, in the web browser Chrome all right so you get this one you have experience of using the browser to download file you get this all right so same thing so you show in folder you get these uh, show in folder you get these uh, 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 download file it's a plain text file okay that's your input, all right. So you can move the uh, default download to your download folder here, okay. So um, then you can move it to or rename it, whatever. So and uh, that's the how you save your file. And we quit this one, okay. We we close this uh, download folder here, and you can load it back later on. See here, it will redirect you to this one and load it back, all right. Load it back. So. Uh, you could uh, you are able to save your file, save your input, and load it back later on, and uh, use it again, or reuse it, or modify from there, and that's the save and load. And uh, there's also a help button, which you just simply direct you to the uh, uh, online menu, right? Online menu here. So it's just a, a, a online menu on this program. And that's what we are talking about in, in terms of writing format. Uh, uh, so uh, you can go through it, very handy. Okay, anywhere, so we have lots of example here. We have lots of example here, all right? So uh, basically, uh, it's online. It's a fantastic menu, anyway. All right, so that, I will close this one. I will close this one and get this up again so that's help button just uh, a quick simply uh, click to give you to the to, to the online uh, menu button okay o online menu uh, close again okay so uh we we, we talk about this interface now and uh, we finished talking about this interface all right, so that bottom one the status give you the license status and calculation result. Okay, we have more detailed calculation result in this menu tab design calc, but that's just a brief summary. And when you do the stuff here, you will get the 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 pass of fail and ratio right away here without uh, without going to this detail one here. All right, so now we talk about we continue with this uh, top menu tab. All right. So the first one is setting. It's a place for you to set up universal uh, global setting. Okay, so click on this one. You will get the interface. Okay, so first one, of course, you choose the design code. Okay, we have uh, AISC code for, for now. Uh, AISC uh, 14 editions, LFD and ASD. I'm going to add Canadian code support uh, later on. It's currently gray out. And we uh, have input unit here. So this program allows users to uh, input their design data in either uh, metric or imperial system, right? So they can use uh, both imperial and metric system. But when go to calculation presentation, if uh, for AIC code, you'll be always uh, presented in, AI, uh, in imperial format. Um, if it's Canadian code, you will be always be uh, presented in metric format, in the native format of the corresponding code. So 
uh, but user uh, can choose to input those data in both in either imperial or metric system. The program will do the conversions uh, after input automatically. Okay, so uh, that's the input unit. Okay, then also uh, display unit, uh, display uh, precision. So that's uh, uh, how you uh, want your, uh, your dimension to be shown. In a sketch like this, like 2.26, 4.00, uh, 30, okay, 2.260 inch, all right? So that's in a three decimal, okay? So we can choose to fraction of 1 8 or fraction of 1 16. Now we choose to fraction of uh, 1 8. Okay, see, uh, now previous 2.260, now change to 2 and 1 quarter. So that's uh, how you, uh, 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 you have option of uh, sketch uh, uh, dimension uh, uh, format, okay? So um, now you, we change back to 3 decimal, uh, three decimal presentation, all right? So let's set him. And uh, for the rest, uh, parameters you can just turn on these uh, two tips okay it will show you uh, uh, move your mouse over move your mouse over it will sh explain to you what this uh, parameter is for okay you move your mouse over you will get the explanation so I tend you you will try to get understand uh, by yourself through the online two tip all right so we turn it off okay we we we, we uh, we go back, okay. So that's uh, for, oh, we go back, I'll dismiss this one. Okay, that's for setting menu tab, the general menu tab, the next always the uh, general. Okay, that's where menu tab, you see this interface change, okay, to the corresponding one. So it's a, it's a place for you set up the project name and company name which show up in the, when we print out the uh, calculation and connection ID is show up in when we print out the cal uh, calculation. Okay, also choose the type of connection. It could be moment, shear, brace, uh, surprise. Okay, um, the, these uh, input fields below will change accordingly when you switch different connection type. All right, so that's more like uh, uh, general setting parameters under general tab. There will be section tab where you say uh, define your member size, being column, brace, or whatever. All right. Uh, that's uh, then starting from here, after section there will be a uh, different for different type of connection. For this MC connection, it's a right end play. All right. And where you design the both spacing, both diameter, both pattern of this end play, and it be weld. Menu tab, you design, you define your your weld from French to M plate. You see highlight here, okay? French to M plate, web to M plate, and uh, your weld uh, uh, great and stiffener duff, uh, double plate. You define uh, the stiffener or double plate size and the weld, okay? Okay, stiffener double plate and the thickness. So. Uh, the, la the second last one is the design law, okay? That, that is the same for every con different type of connection has design law input. And uh, here, you better to switch to low view here, okay? To work with design load, low view. As we say, you move the mouse to input view, the value in a sketch will get highlighted, all right? You see here on the left, okay, the moment value will get highlighted, okay? You uh, modify the direction, minus 45 will change the rotating direction. Okay, see, now it's uh, counterclockwise. Now it's counterclockwise. Uh, now we change to 45. You uh, you change to clockwise, all right? See here, clockwise. Okay, now actual tensile, it's 25, it's tensile. Okay, see here, tensile. Uh, negative value for tensile. If we change to 25, it will be compression. Okay, positive value for compression. Yeah, uh, you see. Uh, 
okay so you get see the highlight on here highlight text is compression now so the shear value is also positive uh, I mean, if in terms of mc it doesn't matter it goes up or goes down okay it get highlighted we also have storage shear uh, current actual load okay that's for moment connection and the uh, last menu tab is design calc okay so now on the top we have different section chat box okay the first one is summary you can click on this one to get a detailed view of a summary and the second one is a uh, uh, right being current that's amplate um, mc check you check this one you will get these uh, uh, mc connection uh, amplate Amplate uh, MC connection check. Okay, there are different uh, uh, limit state check. Every uh, limit state you can click on the title bar here. Okay, to expand it for detail calculation. All right, so you click on this one, you get expanded. You can expand the next one, get the detail of the next one. Okay, here, so you can expand. Uh, click one more time to collapse it back. Okay. To correct back, okay. Quick one more time to get it collapse, okay. So, uh, for single limit state check section, you can click on each uh, title bar to expand or collapse, okay. You can also uh, click on this button, expand all, expand all of them, all right, and collapse all of them. So now expand all, now uh. All the uh, limit state session get expanded. It get all the detail. Of course, the number of pages will be uh, increased a lot. Okay, so okay, you can also add a sketch to this calculation. Now you get all the sketch. All right. So that's calculation. So that's a way you navigate through the uh, 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 calculation. Uh, the MC is still not that many. For brace connection, we probably we can easily go to hundred pages and uh, uh, and probably uh, hundred sections or limit hundred limit state check if the connection get uh, complicated. Okay, and then it will be important for you to for you to easily navigate through different section and get the result you want and print the the desired section you want. So that's the way you can do it. And here is a chat box for different section, okay, a sketch and different uh, 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 section you want. And here is expand all and grabs all for you to uh, get the detail report or expand all, get detail report of every step or grabs all to just get a, a, a summary of the each limit state, okay. So I, I just explained to you for this one, then the last one remaining is print, okay? Now, make sure you get all you need. Expand or collapse or detail sketch, or just expand one or two sections here. You are happy with that? After that, you hit the print button. Okay, print button, okay. We get the highlight box here. Uh, print button okay uh, sometimes and uh, it was uh, because uh, that's uh, that's an uh, overlap of two uh, uh, a chrome tab okay sometimes it just on top the pull up one will be on top of uh, on top of this uh, main interface but sometimes okay we close this one we try one more time okay we uh, uh, let's see how how to do that for this one, actually, when you hit print, you get the new uh, window open up. But uh, unfortunately, the window is hide behind my current one. Okay, so uh, I just try a way to uh, to get uh, this uh, sequence right. Okay, let me close this one. Let me close this one. Let me start uh, 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 the Chrome again. I type in. Uh, ASP, see you back, connect, okay, now, okay, now I get uh, this one, okay, you see these are all craps, okay, this connection uh, calculation are all craps, so uh, if I expand this one, I will get the detailed calculation of this one, 
okay so i will expand all of them i just hit this one expand all now let me hit the print button hopefully this one the new window will come out on top of this current one here you go so now you get this pull up uh, on top of this uh, existing one right I, I try it one more time print okay okay get a new window maximize it okay so now that's uh, another uh, tab of uh, Chrome new window it give you a calculation with uh, okay with a uh, result summary sketch and uh, expand the detail calculation of every step you see here so you you remember this is a web browser Chrome okay when you want to print something you just like you print a web page you're using Chrome okay I move my mouse to the empty area here I right click my mouse I hit the print uh, print uh, menu here okay I get this uh, print menu here all right okay so now I bring it to my PDF printer uh, you can change uh, for your case you can send it to your hard copy paper printer okay that will be the same thing uh, for me I just want to save some paper I choose a PDF printers okay and go to setting uh, make sure it's, uh, this one time setting your header and footers uh, option is check your background graphics option is check okay now you see here I, I just join it up join it up join it up one more time okay on the header here every page is header every page is header okay there is a uh, date there's uh, civil bay engineering see these uh, I go to general okay that's civil bay engineering okay and uh, plus it's a divider you need this one to to tell them that before plus is your company name after plus is a project name okay whatever project okay so you keep this input uh, that's uh, intention is uh, for use uh, in uh, print out uh, headers okay the connection ID MC-1 so come to my print pages okay date uh, silver engineering that's what you input just now uh, project names your moment connection your connection ID here so whatever input here okay we'll go to our print out uh, header here on every page so that's uh, your 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 calculation uh, header okay so uh, you see every page you get this one headers okay um, so now we uh, we hit the print button now uh, we go to my first uh, my first uh, calculation okay I create a PDF file all right so uh, I take times for 15 pages okay take times for these uh, printer to generate PDF files okay 12 page already all right um, 14 now here we get this one okay look at this one the date every page is headers company name project name moment connection connection ID all right so now you get this this one nicely uh, printed uh, calculation report they give you summary sketch and give you sketch uh, side view front view top view and uh, low view show you all your input load and uh, all the detailed calculation step by step okay none of our similar program have this detailed calculation output and nicely uh, printed output okay so that's uh, from beginning to the end how you use this program and uh, I close this one I go back to here so that's your connection design you can switch uh, to front view side view and top view and low view here easily okay so now we we pretty much uh, show you everything you can move this uh, a little bit up okay we pretty much show you everything uh, how to use this program uh, we take a uh, moment connection as an example here that's uh, one of the simpler one uh, we will go to the more complex one like brace connection later on so for this tutorial basically I show you uh, first uh, all the interface of this program there's a menu tab detail sketch 
status areas, uh, input interface, and switch view, and all these button works. And I explain to you how to uh, 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 use uh, three out of features. One is two tips, okay, and one is the highlight uh, highlight uh, of input fields. Like this, uh, you hover your, your, your mouse uh, over uh, this input field, you get this text highlighted. And uh, like this one, like this one, you see the highlight text here, okay? And go to uh, thickness, you get this highlighted, all right? So that's the second feature. Tool tip is the first one, the highlight text is the second one. The third feature is the suggest value, okay? You can copy off and at one click. And uh, I also uh, explain to you these how to save, load, and have file. I also explain to you these uh, menu tab and the design low input and how to print out your calculation. So we finish this tutorial, and uh, we are going to add the more tutorial on each specific connection type. Like uh, the next one will be how to uh, design a shear connection. Uh, no, the uh, first one, the next one would be how to design moment connection. After that, how to design uh, input uh, shear connection. And after that will be brace connection, which also include the vertical brace, horizontal brace, chevron brace, um, the knee brace, base brace, uh, vertical brace. And in the last will be a detailed example how to input the design uh, splice connection. Okay, that's a series of tutorials where you expect from us, and you have a good day, and bye-bye.